Just a quick video for those that use my DAC audio library or get sounds out of an ESP32 via a single pin. In the past, when I've had sound output from an ESP32, I've showed a PAM8403 amplifier with a speaker. Here, for example, is my Frogger project with a volume control, etc. In fact, I've done detailed videos on this, on adding the PAM8403. I'll put a linky thingy coming up in the corner about now. So the music is fully implemented, as are the sounds as you hop, all mixed together. If you see the previous episode of Dark Audio, then you'll see that these sounds can now be mixed and played together. So we've got the full background music, and on Frogger it plays celebration music, different, oh darn it, different celebration music when you get a frog home. So as soon as you can get all frogs home, we'll hear most of the music. And so this is okay to a point, but the sound quality is not great and fairly low power. So there are a couple of choices you can do. Use a different amplifier board, and there will be an upcoming episode on alternative on an alternative board, or use an off-the-shelf amp. Today we're going to look at an off-the-shelf amp. These can be almost anything from a big audio amp to a small battery power device. What I'm going to show today is a repurposing of a cheap old set of PC speakers. The input is a 3.5mm jack plug which has three connections. The bottom is always common, the negative connection, with the other two being the left and right. The second one up is the right speaker and the top the left speaker. We could solder or wrap wires directly around but that's a bit permanent or messy. So I'm going to connect up a 3.5mm jack socket to my ESP32. Here we have one. I'll put some affiliate links below for a couple of different types if you fancy supporting the channel in that way. The longer lead, if there is one, will be the common and the other two, the right and left channels. If you're lucky, there'll be markings on the case depicting which one's which. I wasn't, but here's the one I've soldered up. I just soldered the common wire and whacked the other wire to both connections, saving me having to work out which is the right or left connection, because it's a mono system. Bringing in the frog board now shows how, I've simplif how simplified it is. So now I just have to connect the common to the ground negative rail and the other connection to pin 25, which is the DAC output used by my DAC audio library. Let's turn the speakers on, set Frogger going and compare the sounds. Wow, that is much better. And you can have it incredibly loud. As mentioned, I'm going to look at other amplifier alternatives to the PAM 8403 in the future, but for now, this is just a quickie episode and it's done. Thanks very much for watching and subscribing if you're a new viewer. If you want to chuck a coin in for the upkeep of Astronical Towers, then you'll find the affiliate link in the description and my Patreon down there somewhere as well, or a visit my website where I to do one-off donations. But most of all, thanks again for watching. That's the best way that I see your support. All for now, catch you next time.